Listen up, La Mesa. All right, listen up, La Mesa. In our continued effort to support local businesses here in La Mesa and her surrounding communities, I had this one marked off on my calendar for a while. Now, I'm Greek. If you couldn't tell by my last name, Melagonis, and when I'm really in the mood for some great Greek food, I come by West La Mesa, right near landmarks like the Riviera Supper Club. Right here is JK's Greek Restaurant. All right, everybody, I am here with the owner of JK's Greek Restaurant. This is Jeb. Jeb, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, letting me talk with you today. So, uh, Greek Restaurant, how long have you been in business? Oh, over 26 years. And the business itself, uh, total together, almost four years in the same spot. Wow. Right. Yes. So, we're located uh, in West La Mesa. We're just uh, west of. Uh, uh, Lake Murray, uh, excuse me, uh, Mesa Boulevard, uh, located right on University next to Riviera Supper Club. You've always been in the same location, never yes, moved? Yes, yes. What did you do prior to uh, oh, prior uh, to the food industry? Yeah, I mean, uh, when I get to, to the restaurant business, uh, honestly, I mean, I was not into uh, serving or dealing with food at all. It was just like I'm doing like an investment. Mm -hmm. I start because my background is in engineering. So engineering I, to food. Yes, yes. <laughs> Opposite ends yeah, of the spectrum. <laughs> so what would you say your customers, uh, I know you have, you know, uh, a local following. What would you say is their favorite dish? Oh, uh, I know what mine is. I know what yeah, my favorite yeah. is. I mean, uh, really, uh, I have the, like the favorite dish for most of my customers is the gyro and chicken souvlaki, mm -hmm. which is the gyro meat with pita bread, uh, shish kebab chicken, rice, uh, Greek salad, and also the Grecian feast, which is has, you know, the uh, a lot of like uh, Greek food in one plate, which is you get the pastizio which is like a lasagna like style. The Greek lasagna. Yeah, I mean the moussaka, which is like layers of eggplant with the ground beef. You get the gyro with beaten bread. You get the uh, dolmadas, which is stuffed grape leaves. And you get the Greek salad. So it's a good uh, combination. Now my favorite, and I, I get it every time we come and I bring my family and we sit down, uh, the yummy sta. That is one of my oh, favorites. Pepper, it's yeah. uh, you know, it's like a stuffed pepper with you know meat and the rice. Yes, yes, um, it's yes. one of my personal favorites. Now my daughter loves the cookies, oh, that's <laughs> and it. she the, loves tzatziki sauce. The tzatziki like sauce. she puts everything yeah. into it's like, tzatziki it's sauce. It's like it's like this blade, which is like we call it gyro fries, which is a French fries with feta cheese, gyro meat, then tzatziki sauce in the top. Ren would mow this down. She would know <laughs> yeah, that. because like, of the tzatziki. Would, yeah, tzatziki. And then uh, but French fries and oh, feta yeah, cheese oh, yeah, is like oh, one yeah, of her oh, favorites. Yeah. And the, the special about the tzatziki, that's why everybody fall in love with it because it's really a homemade mm -hmm. and it's real pure yogurt mm -hmm. with fresh uh, cucumber and with the Greek spices. I mean, it's really healthy. Uh, another thing that you know people really need to be aware of too. Uh, one of the things my wife loves, and we want containers of it, is the salad dressing. Oh, the salad the dressing. The Greek salad dressing. It's an olive oil, and oh, yeah. it's oh, got, yeah. uh, there's a red wine vinegar in there. Yes, yes, the yes. spices. We've marinated chicken in it. I have a question about that. Now, you have, you, you sell a whole chicken that's baked, and it's for takeout. Mm -hmm. Um, now that chicken is rubbed down with a bunch of different spices, right? Yes. Because I've noticed it's different. It's kind of got a yellowish tint and it's yes, got a lot yes. of spices in there. That is fantastic. Yeah, we, we marinate the chicken overnight before we cook it. And, you know, with the Greek spices and, you know, a lot of my customers, they ask me, what's the ingredient? You know, I laugh all the time. I said, you know what, if, if I give you the ingredients yeah. for that chicken, you know, you might You're going to go do it yourself. <laughs> what about the uh, desserts? Um, you know, obviously there's the the staple that everyone knows, the baklava. Oh, yeah. Uh, but oh, what, yeah. what else? Uh... The, I mean, you know, our, really, my, my favorite and special dessert is the Greek delight. Because it's our invention. We invent that dessert. Mm -hmm. That's really And you have the powdered sugar cookies. You oh, know, that's, that's what, what your daughter loves. Ren loves that, that, the powdered sugar. <laughs> I mean. 
Yeah, it's the almond sugar cookie, yeah. Deb, thank you so much for oh. sitting down and talking with us. Um, you know, you're local, you've been here for a long time, and uh, we really want to support you. So thanks for everything thank you do, you, Chris. and thanks for thank being you. with me. Thank you for watching another episode of Listen Up La Mesa, where we support and feature local businesses here in La Mesa and her surrounding communities. If you'd like to feature your business on this show, please contact me directly. Thank you.